Hi, welcome back to GP Reactions. Uh, I hope you're good. Uh, thank you for subscribing, all these new subscribers I've got. Um, I'm going to try and sort of post uh, videos uh, a bit more often, post reactions a bit, a little bit more often. Um, I've been like tied up with work like crazy over the last couple of weeks and there's other stuff going on in life. You know how it goes um, outside of YouTube where you have to kind of attend to certain things. So that aside, uh, I'm looking forward to kind of revisiting another song from 1982 and um, this is a song that's always like grabbed my kind of curiosity so without further ado i'm going to jump into dollar uh, with video tech and this was from about i think it entered the uk top 14 about about 17th of june it might be the end of june uh, and it reached um, it was 19th of june it entered the uk top 14 it reached number 17 that was it and it was from an album a self-entitled album so uh, without further ado, this is Dala and this is the Videotech. And by the way, I think this is a top of the pops performance. So sorry to pause it there. Um, Dollar in 1982, they were like the golden couple of pop music. Um, they were an actual couple um, and they're blonde hair. So they were definitely the golden couple of pop music. And I'm not sure if there's a video to this. Um, I never actually saw this performance on top of the pop, so I have to be honest. Um, so this is like interesting for me to watch. Um, but they generally kind of did the same sort of um, duet performances. Um, on, on pretty much all the songs I did. Um, so what's interesting about his song so far is um, it seems to be about a sadness that movies were a thing that replaced um, theatre. Now, there's no mention of theatre, but I just get that impression um, through the lyrics, and I'll come back to the lyrics at the end. Um, and, and interesting, knowing that um, this is produced by Trevor Horn um, of The Buggles, who did Video Killed, the radio star. Um, so I'm wondering whether there's, there's, there's a, um, this is like the, a, a kind of a prequel, if you like. Um, so um, films killed theatre performances. I, I don't know. I, so far, that's, that's how I'm hearing it.
So that was a dollar with uh, the video tech. Um, it's a lo lovely performance um, by by this couple. I mean, unfortunately, um, knowing their sort of like history afterwards, the kind of it's you kind of see them in slightly different light um, that they you know they uh, essentially I think they kind of like um, fell out at some point and they ceased being a, a an actual couple. But back in 1982, they were the golden couple. And this was a really interesting song. I found it, I mean, the, the beginning of the lyrics and the actual music together, the music kind of feels like it's one step ahead. Uh, it feels like it's meant to sound slightly futuristic, um, like it's always reaching into the future and looking back, uh, which is interesting because um, I'm going to have a look at the lyrics um, and I kind of get got the feeling from the beginning of, the, of it was that with the event of movies, um, that, that they were kind of looking back. Um, I wouldn't say with, it was like a new reality. Um, and I think change is kind of like a bit unusual sometimes when you go from one genre to another. Um, I'll see if I'm, I'm right about that. So when my VJ shoots the beam, I'm not really sure what that means. I take my partner from the screen and hold her close, I hold her close. One more chance to make it right. Holding hands in black and white. I'll meet you there. I'll meet you there. Leave my mind back in the room. Maybe I will blow it soon and fall in love. So I'm almost kind of feeling that this is a case of we don't we don't actually engage as much as we would do if we were going to the theatre and that movies have taken on this passive. Uh, they kind of render the viewer sort of passive. You don't, you, you have, you're not invested so much when you know that the people who are performing are actually in the room. At, at the video tech, we can dance forever. At the video tech, we control it all. At the video tech, ghosts are only lovers on screen. Ghosts are only lovers on screen. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing this could be, uh, again, I think we've moved forward in time. So we're no longer in movies now. We're actually probably in the age of videos. And and this is, again, we're looking back and saying that, you know, these these actors that we hold so dear to our hearts, um, they're literally ghosts are only lovers on the, on the screen. So the, most of the people on the screen that you're watching, perhaps in that black and white film, uh, have passed, passed on um, no longer, but... Only pictures on the wall, they don't mean a thing at all. And I don't care when the visions start to form, the same illusion takes us all and you are there. Slowly senses leaving me once the two are in 3D, we play the game. So I think this is kind of basically, again, harking back to movies, um, that being able to watch a movie, um, it's kind of replaced some of the more mundane aspects of uh of how we how we hold our memories um so it's like they're kind of like the new thing and they're, re they're replacing pictures um uh, maybe maybe music um and although, although, although movies are exciting um we've we've kind of we're, we're i think there's a little bit of sadness that we're we're leaving we're we're abandoning the stuff that we used to hold dear and I think this is the same with with uh, most technology. Uh, I I I love being able to stream songs. I love. I don't mean I don't so much stream songs, but I do download a lot of music. Uh, I do pay for a lot and download a lot of music. Um, but there's a little bit of sadness that kind of harks back to the day when um, you had to to go out to get the music. You had to queue up, and you had to buy it stand in a queue and buy a piece of plastic in a beautiful wrapped cover um, and if you're lucky if you could turn it over you were able you was able to read the lyrics um, you didn't have to kind of squint through a computer screen um, and, and it kind of it felt like a piece of art um, but you know progress always you know always leaves behind uh, this it's very really like a dark nostalgia 
um, a sad nostalgia for 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 what was, even though what is may be just as good, if not better. Like uh, you gone from your theatres, from uh, where you'd be connecting with the audience, then you'd be connected with, uh, you know, maybe the actors and actresses afterwards. And you've gone from that to movies where you are still connecting with an audience in a way. Uh, you're 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 no longer able to connect with the actors. Uh, then you go to a video where you're not even connecting with an audience. Uh, and this was 1982, so we haven't moved to the point where we were talking about DVDs yet. Um, and so the VHS videos uh, were probably the, the latest um, kind of gadget to inspire um, the writing of a song. Um, I mean, that's VHS, not Betamax. And for any of you who were around in the 80s, you probably know what I mean. For any of you who weren't, you won't have a clue what I'm talking about when I say Betamax. In fact, most people don't have a clue what I'm talking about when I say VHS now, um, or or cassette tapes, or C nineties, or AD nineties. So wow, that, that actually that to me um, that was another throwaway song in 1982 that I listened to. I thought it was uh, made an attractive proposition to see um, to see these two uh, this lovely couple sing it, and I thought it was about. Um, a discotheque with a video um but i i and i thought that's what i'd be kind of reading into but uh, i i've kind of completely gone into a different um down a different road with this uh, and again that's that's the reason why i'm doing these revisits is because um it's it's really kind of exposing some you know fabulous uh writing behind so, uh, a really really great song the sort that the actual music stands up on itself but always you know i'm finding always that the writing's coming through behind it um so you know i really i really enjoyed that it's quite absorbing as well to actually uh, read these lyrics and understand what the song was perhaps about so um i hope you guys enjoyed that um please let me know drop us drop us a shout give us a shout in the uh, comments below and um you know till next time you know just take care of yourselves and uh, enjoy the sunshine if you've got it enjoy the weekend um, if you're not working, if you are working, you know, um, I'm really sorry. Um, but enjoy the sunshine all the same. See you later.